Time to think about back to school already and child safety. Welcome back to Textimation. I'm Fred Fishkin. Joining us from TikTok Tech, say that three times fast, is creative and strategic marketing manager, Eddie Washington. Hi, Eddie. Hey, Fred. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Well, great to meet you. And let's start out with what TikTok is and the story behind it. Yes. So um, TikTok and Many, uh, many often refer to the app TikTok, but this is actually a kid's smartwatch company. So what that is, is we're providing a safe cell phone alternative. Um, it's primarily for children ages three to 12. So we're in a space of really um, introducing tech to our kids in a safe way. Um, so therefore we, we offer kids smartwatches and have it be compatible to a parent app. And so that's all about children's safety. We want to make sure that we're allowing our kids to navigate tech and communication in a safe way. What's the story behind the company? Um, yeah, so it, it actually launched in 2016. Um, two, two parents, actually, um, uh, Vivian, who's our president and CEO and co-founder, um, and her partner actually had a young daughter who they were trying to find ways to actually, you know, safely communicate with her in that process, not being able to truly find a safe way, they then birthed this this product. And so, yeah, 2016 was, was the start of TikTok Tech. And now they're up to TikTok 5. Let's, uh, let's get the, an overview of what the features are. What's new here? We are on a fifth generation, and some of the main features um, include GPS location tracking, um, voice and video calling. Um, these are some of the most popular features we also had on the 4. Um, we've also improved our safety um, measures, which that's um, allowing parents to get alerts if their if their child um, calls SOS on the watch. Um, really, just being able to um, listen to our customers from the TikTok for and um, understand you know the things that they like, maybe some of the things that we can improve on, and we've added it to to the five. Well, step us through the setup and use here from both the parental side and the child side. Yeah, definitely. So um, essentially, once you do get your TikTok 5 um, smartwatch, you're going to have a um, a box and it's going to have all the essentials that you're going to have the watch in there. You're going to have a charger. Um, you're going to have a booklet that actually walks you through step by step on how to um, activate your SIM. We include a, a pre-installed SIM. Um, so that, that makes it easier for users when they do get it. Um, all they have to do is just activate the steps. And this, this would be the parent making sure that everything is set up. Um, you know, once the, the watch is fully set up, then they'll be able to give it to their children. But um, the parents will then have to download a, our own TikTok app, which you can find on the iOS, um, Apple's um, Play Store or the Google Play Store. Um, it's a free app, and you're able to download that and be able to um, fully set up your TikTok watch and, com and um, make it compatible to the app. So it's a pretty easy process to, to set it up. Um, we have instructions included and it's, it's, it gives parents peace of mind. And that's something that we're, we're proud to be able to say. Tell me about that, that peace of mind. What can this watch do that uh, is going to spur people to buy it? Definitely. Um, the watch can from, from a kid's standpoint, um, you're able to um, have reminders um, set up. Um, you're able to uh, voice and, and video call with uh, family and approve contacts. You're able to track your steps with an activity tracker. Um, from a parent standpoint, you're able to set up pretty much everything in the app um, and that's track their location. You can view their history route so you can see their previous locations. You're able to set up approved contacts. So whoever you want to be able to contact your child, um, it's controlled through the parent or controlled through whoever is the user admin of the, the, the account. Um, so me as, as a dad, you know, I, I get that peace of mind to be able to set up um, uncle, aunt, and whoever I want. And they're gonna be the only ones that can essentially communicate with my child. And I can also block any unwanted number. So it's truly, um, it keeps you in a driver's seat as a parent. And that's really the, the peace of mind that you get because your child is able to get that independence and freedom that they need while also you get to help them navigate, you know, tech in a safe way. 
And I suppose uh, it's up to the parent to discuss with the child how it's used, that it's only used for calling mom or dad or, or grandma. <clears throat> exactly, uh, yes. When, yes. When it's really necessary, not like every 20 minutes, right? Yes, exactly. And it's it's something that it allows parents to also set up, you know, as you mentioned, you know, parameters to, to lay a foundation of um, proper use. There's a, a do not disturb focus mode that parents can enable. So when their kid is in school, they just set up the focus mode um, and it it doesn't allow them to do anything on it. So it's really kind of that that tool that is essential, um, really like a cell phone, but it doesn't have those other components. You know, it has we have no Internet, no social media, no games. Um, so it's really just kind of a way for us to, as parents, communicate with our children um, in a safe way and not worried about any extra distractions. What advantages, and you probably touched on some here already, what advantages do you feel that you have over the competitors? That there, are, there are increasing numbers of those. No, it's, it's a great question. Um, some of the advantages I feel that we have is um, it's definitely our, um, we have video calling, um, not all of our competitors um, even have like, you know, camera op options. So we're able to, to voice and video call. And that also allows us to, as parents, really get that um, peace of mind to just check on them and then see their location. Um, and we also, our app is also, we have over 50 plus parental controls. Um, so from um, internally, we, we've seen that we have more of the advantages um, included in our app, uh, more features, we offer um, free streaming music with iHeartRadio for U.S. customers only. That's something that I know that we, um, TikTok, we, we are proud to have that most of our competitors don't. We, uh, we don't have any contracts. We, you know, once you sign up with TikTok Wireless, it's just a monthly plan um, to keep the service going. And uh, we have plans as low as $9.99 um, up to $19.99. And this you can cancel at any time. Whereas I know some of our competitors, you're you're locked into like a year contract or even maybe longer than that. So um, they don't have that flexibility that we may have. And, um, and and yeah, so those are just some of the things off the top that I feel that we we really do want to provide an option for parents that is, is safe, uh, but also affordable and convenient um, because we know more than anything, um, you know, you can't put a price on safety, but we, we want to make sure everybody can, you know, afford it or we have that flexibility here. And the music that a child can listen to with it, uh, parental approval on, on that too, right? Perfect. Yeah, um, parental approval. Um, we're we're COPA compliant. We're COPA certified. Um, so all of our you know the businesses and features that we work with, um, they're all kid friendly. Uh, we work with iHeartRadio family app, so that's different than the actual you know iHeartRadio itself. Um, it's it's a family app, so all of the music is. Um, and all of the stations, the podcasts, the stories that they offer, um, they are, you know, family friendly connection uh, apps. And this is something that we're we're um, always making sure that we're working with um, anybody who we work with. They are COPA compliant and they understand that we are in a, in a space of protecting children's privacy more so than exposing them. Tell us more about how the pricing works for the device and for and for the different plans. Definitely, yeah. Yeah, so for the device right now, um, we're currently, our regular MSRP um, that we have, we have it at $149.99. And um, this is a bit lower than our previous models. And um, so we typically have this standard price going on. And whenever we have sales, we'll have maybe um, $10 off, $20 off, $30 off or whatever. But um, our standard MSRP is one forty nine ninety nine on our website. We're also on Amazon, and um, I believe the Amazon price is uh, one fifty nine. And we offer um, our service, and we offer plans, um, premium plans with TikTok Wireless. We also also offer um, essential plans, and some of those start from nine ninety nine ninety nine a month, and those are you get like one gig of uh, of data, you know, nation four G coverage. And there are certain things involved with that. And then we have an essential plus that is $14.99. And then our premium um, and premium plus are $15.99 and $19.99. So we have options based on how often you, you feel your family and your, your child will be using. 
some of their data, we, we find it that most of the time, um, if you did want to do a basic essential plan with one gig of that one um, gigs of data, you, you know, your, your child should be able to be, be fully connected and not have any issues. And um, it's a lot of data, you know, so, um, but we have options for those who do want to use it a little bit longer. So. Now, video conferencing certainly would use uh, more data, I suppose. So yes, if you're inclined to use that, I suppose the, one of the higher plans might be in order. Definitely. Yep. Yeah. And then features like the music, you know, iHeartRadio family, if, if, um, your child likes to listen to those or, or even listen to the stories of the podcast on there, those will kind of like use a little bit more or drain the battery a little bit quicker. Um, but typically we, you know, have a really good, you know, actually the highest battery standby time up to um, uh, 48 hours regular use without having to, to really fully charge it. So that's pretty um, good in, in comparison to our competitors. And typically, like a like a cell phone, this would be charged at night. Yeah, typically charge it at night, um, and will last you, um, like I said, with regular use up to about like forty eight hours. And you have different colors available for for the parental or child preference here. Yeah, we do. We have we have gray, which is our uh, popular most popular color. Um, that seems to be more of a neutral. You know, whether you have a boy or a girl. We also have purple, we also have green, and we also have blue. So um, we, we like to mix it up a little bit. <laughs> Terrific. So for more info on this, and be before I get to that, uh, mm -hmm. tell us, uh, on the service front, can mm -hmm. people use a, a, a different SIM if they choose to, or how does how does this work? Um, yeah, so if, if um, the user wants to use a different SIM, uh, we offer two different options. We offer... Um, AT&T SIM, AT SIM, and we also have a T-Mobile uh, T SIM. And so if they do want to use a different SIM, they would just have to make sure that, um, one, it's, you know, compatible with um, our smartwatch. We offer international um, options as well for purchasing. So typically those are the customers that will kind of go uh, a different SIM route, um, whether we have a, a Canadian customer. Um, somebody out there would have to essentially get um, the same preference for, you know, their specific country. So we offer different options and um, that's usually something that they'll see on the, the website that they can actually purchase, you know, with an international option. So we, we have that available. And with video conferencing on the parental side, if they're using their phone, is there a specific app that they would use the TikTok app? Yes. Yes. So it'll be um, our TikTok parent app. Yeah. You'll be able to video call. You'll be able to voice call. Um, all messaging and group chats, uh, family fun connection is all done through the app. Um, uh, one of the most common questions we do get is, um, do users have to have the app in order to, you know, communicate with, you know, somebody who doesn't have the um, app or who has a watch? And as long as the parent sets up, um, say, if I want my, my brother to be able to communicate with my daughter, he doesn't want to download the app. Um, as long as I set him up as a as a, um, a phone book contact in the app, then they can communicate, but only through actual um, voice calling, um, messaging and sending emojis and sending um, greeting cards, the extra things that we provide in our app, um, you would have to download. But if you do want to just ha to have basic conversation uh, and basic phone calling, um, they won't need the app as long as the admin or parent is able to um, add them as a user. Very interesting. Well, congratulations there on the innovation. The website is my tick, T I C K talk, T A L K dot com. Eddie Washington, thank you so much for spending time with us. Thank you so much, Fred. I appreciate it. <laughs>